does here against Reaper Black and Sat, because again, they're two, kind of one, the question four. mark, sort of, just because we haven't really seen them in this position yet. And they're playing some like slightly different legends, still obviously very meta. We've seen uh, Tesca today already, not even just in South America. Uh, and we regularly see Wushong. We were talking about Wushong on the pre-show today. But of course, most of today has been dominated by Axe and the handful of Axe legends that people are playing in twos. So even though it's not the most weird meta, it's at least outside of what we've been seeing this weekend. So that's some fun variety to inject into this equation. Yeah, I mean, I personally always love seeing a Tesca in the 2v2 space. Granted, they're going up against Wes, one of the kind of most established Tesca players yep. in the region. Uh, and that might be one of the reasons why Wes and Vem Tenkilo are doing so well right now. They've got both blue team members in the red. In case you're like just tuning in and haven't been following along with the bracket, if you're on Twitch, exclamation point bracket, you can follow along there. Right after, are we gonna get the full team wipe here, Wes? Baby oh, sitting back, away. oh no, not getting back. But we are in the winner's finals here. Both of these teams are guaranteed top three. We'll see who gets a guaranteed top two with a victory after this best of five set. You know, I respect the back away, but that is gonna be a wipe coming out of the blue team. Each one taking a name. Reaper still in the deep red, still on that first stock. And here comes a team combo. Vem tries to come in, try to break that one up. Wes got that uppercut. Off stage, nice. Wes gonna convert that to a KO. Man, the deep GCs from the gamers this weekend, they have been so prevalent, more than I'm used to seeing. Yeah, they're very willing to go off screen and go real far out there. Okay. Some chunking hits. Everybody kind of just pummeling right now. Yeah, that was a great sideline that came out from Reaper. It didn't hit, but it got, I think, dodges of both members of the red team. Unfortunately, Sack wasn't in range to be able to punish right after that and get some real juice once those dodges were down and only jumps were available. Oh, that weapon toss barely went over West's head, almost made contact with him. That would have uh, sent him flying, probably, even though it's from his teammate. Yeah, might not have KO'd, but it definitely would have put him in an awkward yeah, spot. Yeah, it would have like, the red team. Yeah, for sure, split him further. Right now, Wes respawning Vem in the red. But really, Sack's the one who's got to be careful here. He's on his final stock and getting close to that KO percent. Honestly, I've also been waiting for Sack to have a moment again in twos because, like, Kaina and Sack is crazy. Back. There's the start of it. Oh, oh man. Uh, we're seeing the rise of 2v1 team combos that are exclusively like signature driven. And is it is it just a Tesca thing? Because we've now seen it from two different Tesca players this weekend and nobody else. Dude, that's the value of, like you said earlier, those active input signatures, that ability to really control where you're throwing your opponents. But it was enough to bring this one uh, kind of in favor of the blue team, really. Yeah, just by a little bit, maybe around like 40 to 50 damage, given that Vim is starting to take some punishment here, getting deeper into the orange and Reaper is still in the yellow. Oh, Android only hits his teammate, but the side air will take out Sack. Both red team members in the red. Do they have a team combo of their own? Reaper kind of playing around that soft platform, gets over, lands on the right side, still looking for a weapon. Oh. Wasn't able to grab that one. Wes dropping that side signature, wasn't quite in the right spot at the right time to be able to pick it up. Here comes the gauntlets, but I think like one more recovery from Wes's gauntlets and Reaper's probably done. The GCD light, not quite. Going all over there. Goes for the ground pound, still has movement. We'll get back up because of that recovery. Now he's got a weapon. And Yo! Sig takes one, okay. but Vem makes it a trade. That was sick though. The turnaround to get the in Sig, and then uh, who, who, who ended up punishing him? Was it, it was Vem, Vem or was it Wes? It was Vem. It was Vem, yeah. and then Vem's punishment on that. So that was both sides, the blue team and the red team, doing a great job right there at the end. It's just one of those things like, there, there's another guy there. Yeah, that, that's the value of that 2v1. You uh, can at least make it so that it's not for free. Down air through the dodge, and then there was Wes yeah. with the GCD light into the side air to get that stock away over on the right side. Sack was going deep there, wanted that big play. Unfortunately, it just went big in favor of the red team instead of his own. Here we go, game number two though. No character swaps. It's it's very strange hearing so many gauntlet noises. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. We've been hearing Axe all day. It's uh, it's like music to my ears. Oh, there's the ground pound. Sack, he's able to get back. Yeah. Just barely hit sweat beads before he touched that wall. So not in oh. huge danger. Nice neutral Sig, getting the KO on the right side. Bim is gonna be the first one to fall. Oh. Yet another one here. What's that call? Is it is it the spinning? No, that's not the spinning. What is that one? Uh, I don't. What's that move? Is it spinning bird kick? Is it? it might I can't be bird think kick. of any of the other ones that yeah. would be spinning bird kick. Yeah. 
All right, Sack, deep red, still on that first stock. GC sides are gonna get punished. Both red team members actually got stacked up there. Unfortunately, blue team not able to uh, get a team combo on it. Yeah, Wes was just a little bit too high when he gravity canceled that side signature. So he went over the heads of the grounded hitbox players and they were easily able to punish once he was done sliding. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, two Reaper. pieces of team damage and the stock there. That's tough for the red team. They're really Whoa. starting to fall behind here, especially if they get this stock off of them. There's the dodge burn, but Wes instantly rotates in. He puts another warm body there to kind of get in the way of what the blue team wanted to do. I think like one more side oh, air from Sack and he's probably done. And yep, there it is right there. Vem is taken out. Wes is going to do his best to try and zone out both members of the blue team while Vim comes back in. He's able to grab his gauntlets pretty quickly, though, in light, but that also picked up Wes. Offstage opportunity. Vem not able to find any hits on the Reaper on that left side. Now Wes and Vem starting to fall Yo. apart here. They need a KO here. They'll get one. Can they get the second one? Sack with the movement gets around the dares, but... That'll do it. Vem Tenkilo finds a connection. And that was smart for Vem to really take over on that one because Wes started getting the two exclamation points. I don't think he got three, but he definitely got two. And so he was like, I got to get out of here main stage so he can reset all of that. Let Vem take over and handle it because he has a lot more time before Wall Slip's coming into play. Still, though, playing on that back foot. That team damage doing them no favors. Gravity cancel downlight from Wes. Good reaction. Dude, He's Vem's going crazy behind. and he has to. Ooh, doesn't hit the deer, though. Oh, man, Vim almost got the side sync KO oh. on Reaper. It would have made the one for one trade worth yeah. it once West fell. But then shortly after that, it was over. That was a really good game, though. It was looking really tough at one moment towards like the beginning of the final third of the game. And West started taking like a step back and he was like, OK, I'm going to stay grounded. If they get near me, I may throw out a neutral light, I may throw out a D light, but I'm going to let Vim go crazy. And he did. Yeah, Vem really was uh, doing a good job of kind of picking up the slack. Like you said, Wes, I mean, he knew he was the most damaged. He had to play back, and Vem was really trying to take that front position. But here we go in to the next one. Again, no character swaps. Reaper's going to start off with the spear here, despite most of his damage being done last game with the gauntlets. We'll see if that changes at all here. Just kind of jumping around, zoning with those neutral airs, just covering himself. Not able to find any connections so far. He's taking quite a bit of punishment. He took 50 damage very quickly. Maybe more than that. Maybe closer to 80. And it, like, it's still going. The number continues to climb. They're finding hit after hit. This red team feeling really nice right now to start this one off. But once again, it doesn't ultimately matter unless you can get those KOs. Yeah, That'll definitely. And there's it. one of them. Reaper's gonna get caught first in this game. Meanwhile, Wes and Vim are very healthy. Still around 100, maybe 110 damage. Okay, Sack hoping to chase after Vim. Ooh. Reaper went high, Vim. hit the gauntlet side air. The weapon toss, and Vim still manages to get up over to the wall. Down sick throw and out, Sack with the punish. Reaper was a little bit slow on the follow-up after Sack with that recovery, but Sack finds the signature, gets the KO. Wes all by his lonesome. Other side, Sig. He's going to throw him straight towards the KO box. Stock advantage to the blue team. Reaper's still sitting on that first one. That's now two times that Reaper's been the one to like go high and cover that high area while Sack kind of stayed a little bit more grounded or at least close Ooh. enough to the ground that he could cover that zone as well. Oh, Reaper got bonked on the head. There's a side air bouncing him off the wall. The dodge, the sweat beads. He comes in. Yeah, and Sack managed to respawn just in yep. time, was able to be a body and make it so it wasn't too easy, but that axe recovery at the top of the map puts Reaper down to his final stock. And an important part about how quickly Sack moved over is he was still in iframes towards the like beginning of that. So his approach, there's no way they can stuff his approach because he can just literally run straight through them for free because of those iframes on spawn. Ooh, another nice. side sig. Wes able to punish this time. Vem not going to get KO'd from it. It was a little bit slow on the punish from Wes. I'm not sure if he was like worried about hitting his teammate while like the spinning around was well, no, happening. It hits you too when you're spinning. Yeah. So he, he could have just not wanted to get caught there. Yeah. Okay, Sack able to hit the down like ground pound. Wes got the touch, Ooh. but the ground pound from Sack will shut down Wes. We got ourselves a nice game here. Reaper is pretty damaged. We'll see how conservatively he's able to play here if he's able to make this stock last. Of course, you saw him instantly swap over onto the gauntlets. Oh, another in light almost. Point Blake side sick from Vim Tankilo. It does look like the blue team is really trying to set up for a combo. Oh, that end sync not going to help. Yeah, that's spinning bird kick. Yeah, you can hear her say it. 
There was there were so many noises going on last time that it wasn't like quite as obvious as like the keep talking on uh, on Linfei or Sakura. Nice recovery again. The axe recovery is connecting and KOing. Yep. Red team currently up 2-1. That was a tough game for Reaper. I think he did he did basically as much total damage that game as he did on Gauntlets the previous game. So he definitely struggled that game. He did even less damage on Spear than he did the previous game, only 62. So he definitely seems to be Gauntlet focused. And maybe just the double Rayman Axe gamers are just keeping him zoned out. I personally would not want to play Gauntlets into Axe because it feels like your longest range move is going to be that down light. They're basically going to be able to match that freak with anything. If you go with a side light and you whiff like you're in perfect punish territory whether it's an in light whether it's a d light whether you want to go for the side light neutral air playing gauntlets into axe is not something i'd be wanted to do yeah i mean when it comes down to it axe players can match the nasty but uh i do think that reaper started to figure out uh, a secret in how to play the gauntlets against them just because reaper started to do more follow-up plays wild side sig there from sack imagine that would have been like sack throwing reaper across the stage and then they pick up the 2v1 combo <laughs> off of that that would have been so cool Side sig hits and KOs. Weapon toss. Wes manages to avoid the second one that would have KO'd him. Reaper is without a weapon here. Ooh. Sack getting sent to the blast zone over on the right side. Oh, Reaper comes in. Wasn't super focused on getting that weapon spawn, and I think Vem was more focused on stripping the field. And in that moment, because their ideas were diverged, then Reaper just got to come in and get the punish and the KO. Yeah, I mean, Vem was right there, but had a completely different game plan, and Reaper was like, yeah. I'm still sticking around for this fight. It was uh, which way Brazilian man, and one of them is to the weapon, and the other one is punishing the opponent for KOing your teammate. Yo, but look at Sat's health bar. Already getting into the red on the second stock. Ooh, Vim. Sliding off, and he actually moves quickly back onto the stage. I don't know if he meant to do that side signature oh. on the... Oh, the charge signature. Hitting his teammate. And now Reaper's taking some punishment. Got hit with a head bonk and an axe dare as well. Okay, the side air. Vem gonna eat that weapon toss, get KO'd, but Sack gets traded out. Stock count even, West the most damaged. Yeah, Reaper and Sack still maintaining this lead because Reaper's been so healthy this game. He now has the spear. There is a weapon spawn on the field, but he kind of leaves it open, maybe for Sack to go grab his set of gauntlets. KO off the top. Ooh, Sack was going for that gravity cancel side light. Didn't quite have the reach on it. I'm really trying to look at Reaper's spear here. I haven't seen too much from it so far. It's just been like one poke here and there, which like is like you can be successful with spear by doing that. Yeah, I mean, spear and air, definitely a solid tool, but the end sig a little better as a KO sack and a side air will take down Reaper. Final stocks here. Next weapon going to be gauntlets, I believe. Yes. Oops. Crazy sig. Oh, here comes the team combo. Oh, he dropped it. Just a little bit over his head because Wes was too close mm -hmm. to them for that. Tried to back up, just didn't quite have that positioning. Second opportunity. Couldn't catch off the bounce. Yeah, I don't know if they're specifically trying to go for the 2v1 at the, like, sacrifice of everything else, because there's been a couple times where Reaper's, like, picked up Wes. Okay, nice side air. That disarmed him, Going and deep. yeah, that's going to be it. But there were a couple times where, like, Reaper picked up one or two gauntlet hits mm -hmm. on one member. I believe it was on Wes. And then Vem just, like, he was around. He would, like, jump up and try to throw out the axe neutral air, but he really wasn't anywhere near. So I think they were maybe just, like, 100% focusing on setting up that 2v1 team combo, and really that was the end-all, be-all. And then towards the end of that, they were like...